This is Eric with Keith McMillan. Today I'm going to show you how to set up our Keyboard Pro 4 and Expression Pedal in Bitwig. Go to our downloads page and make sure you've downloaded the latest version of our editor along with the latest version of the software template. Once that's done, go ahead and load our editor. Make sure that you've got the MPE preset uh, loaded. Uh, go check out our keys and sliders and advanced tabs and under sliders, look at uh, P1 is our switch and P2 is expression. You'll see that our uh, expression pedal is plugged into P2 here. And so I'm gonna uh, change my slider here. Uh, normally it defaults to seven, but I'm gonna change it to one. There you go. And in MIDI monitor here, if we move the pedal, you'll see that we're transmitting uh, control change number one here. So uh, now that that's done, you want to make sure that the app itself doesn't have a control script already loaded. Um, so go ahead and control or right click that, go to show package contents, and then under contents with resources, we scroll down under control surface scripts. You just want to scroll down and make sure um, there's our Cuneo, but make sure that you don't have a Keyboard Pro 4 template loaded there. If you do, go ahead and remove it. Then in our downloads folder, I've gone ahead and downloaded the template and uh, expanded it here. Uh, there is a preset template uh, project, but then there's also our uh, control script here in a separate JavaScript file. Um, but I'm actually gonna take this zip file and I'm gonna expand it. And that'll create a new Keyboard Pro 4 folder Actually, that shows up here as well. And then in your documents folder, uh, under Bitwig Studio, you'll see that there is a controller scripts folder. And uh, I'll back up out of that so you can see documents, Bitwig Studio, and then under control scripts, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that Keyboard Pro 4 folder. I'm gonna drop it here. That should copy over. And now we can open our template project. Then let's set up the Keyboard Pro. Click on File. Go down to Settings. And under Controllers, you'll see the Keyboard Pro 4 is listed. Make sure that you've got the control surface selected as your input and output. Set Ben Range to 12. And you should be good to go. Now, one thing you can do, um, you can test your, see that your audio works. You can also right click knob and map to controller or key. And when you move the pedal, that'll map your controller data. And there you have it. Check out our other videos or send us a help ticket through our support site.